Okay, hold up. So how's everyone doing on Tuesday? Yes. The day coming. I prepared the briefing on the situation. After entering the beta Kelly system, I scan for radio frequency and energy emissions and find no evidence of habitation on the planet Gaia. Why isn't this working? Okay. Done something wrong? Okay, let's just try and restart DOSPLEX entirely again. Maybe. Got it. Whew. So I think today we'll be finishing the game. We have to build fully upgraded lab, fully upgraded labs on Cronus, which is our the Titanic. Bimbap has a lot of robots. Beluga is mined out and has tons of robots. sending the titanic robots from from Billy sure and let's see pipeline uh, let's just start sending a bunch of stuff Trips. 
Let's go. Just send these things. Can I make them all? No. There, that's good. this place as fully operational as we can. Try and get our power and life support to be self-sufficient, though. Stop biology research. We're getting a little bit excessive there. Astronomy, chemistry, and electronics. Let's get those up. Chemistry. Electronics. 
Physics. Physics. have enough power. What is going on? Do I need this? Why do we only have three power plants? I'm so confused. exciting gameplay to watch right at the moment. So many ships I have here still. Jeez. Everything up. 
so quick. I shouldn't be paying more attention. How quickly can these upgrade? Three power plants will be enough. Oh, yeah, it, it will for now. Until this one's done upgrading, then I'll upgrade all the others. We'll do it one at a time. Once we get our energy system stabilized, I'll start upgrading these labs. Brainwaves mimics those of the four fundamental forces of nature. If our research proves fruitful, we may actually be able to give ourselves the same telekinetic powers as the Empians. Oh, hell yeah. We just need a little bit more math. Oh, we need a lot more math. Won't I? Because I don't really care about those. This we'll probably need next. It's electronics and uh, math.
need all these active. That'll help us a little bit. They have to be fully upgraded. I, I thought that it, they did though. Math, physics, and astronomy. Well, sure. Math, astronomy, physics. Math, astronomy, physics. Let's change the Calypso's labs to be math.
Spoop. Did it freeze? Please, please don't freeze. ships. our factories left. Yeah. And we might not even actually need them, I don't know. You've 
located an emergency distress beacon. The emergency signal's very weak and oscillating in frequency. Within the sealed compartment, you find the standard last dispatch of Captain Luisa Johansson. Okay, do I get to read it? Sir, we found an emergency beacon on Gaia bearing the UNS Tantalus's insignia. The storage compartment held a recording from Captain Johansson. The robot is currently processing the recording via the computer station. I hope it can recover the recording intact. The robot will inform you when it's done. Sweet, I can't wait. Chemistry or physics, what the heck? Chemistry, biology. Chemistry, biology. Physics, geology. Oh, we can go 
go even higher? Uh, I can't upgrade my power plants anymore. The Empians wish to report that they are able to progress with their research thanks to our providing a balanced research effort in the field they desire. I will inform you of any changes in this attitude. Okay, let's read that thing in our PDA. I could delete it. Attention, Captain and crew of the Calypso, from Captain Louisa Johansson, Tantalus. I'm sorry to say that I have failed my mission as captain of the Tantalus. Three quarters of the colonists on Gaia and Rhea have been killed by the violent life forms that turned on us so suddenly. Our outer colonies do not have the facilities to house the rest of us. For the first 19 years in the system, everything was fine. We woke the colonists on schedule and set up our colony as an outpost on all the worlds of Beta Kaylee. The situation seemed so benign that I ordered the Tantalus to be disassembled and its great engine to be brought down to Gaia to be used as a new power plant. Then the native life forms on Gaia and Rhea turned on us and began to attack. Their attacks devastated our people and destroyed our colonies. We fought as hard as we could, but the life forms simply overwhelmed us. Until recently, we had no idea what caused the life forms to become hostile. A party of miners from a polar colony finally admitted that they discovered an ancient artifact. Uh, an, an alien artifact. A pylon of some kind. And they tried to demolish it with explosives. The pylon withstood their repeated assaults, but shortly thereafter, the life forms began to attack. We do not know if the pylon controls the attacking life forms, but it seems likely. We do not have the armament to attack this pylon and still defend our remaining colonies. Now we have received reports of a most disturbing encounter by one of our spacecraft in the Beta Asteroid Belt. The ship was attacked by. Dot, dot, dot. Time to wait for that. Oh, we can redo our pipelines now that we have more cargo space. So we just need to invent this. And now I guess wait for the Empians to finish whatever the heck they're doing. I don't know that I needed to make these all level 5. It just made it cost a lot more for no real reason, I guess. I might have to plop down another power plant. Wow, that's a lot of people. Oh. Why is it less all of a sudden? I don't really know why this fluctuates so wildly. Getting enough ore to actually make up for this minus. Going to have to send more um, mass drivers here. Thing won't make us positive. We're still gonna be. Ugh. I had to do it. Man, we're getting close. Continues to progress very well on the Cronus site. The Empians assure us that our balanced research efforts have made their work easier. 
They claim the more balanced research available, the sooner they will finish. <laughs> I don't have enough slots to build another three. That's the only way to keep this balanced. Where did I can't build three more? How about I see the total number of platforms I'm using? I could build two more. There's no way for me to keep it balanced. And we would never be able to generate enough energy. I could upgrade these even further. people on here than we do on Calypso now. will let us upgrade our power plants again. I'm really tempted to upgrade these again. Humans upgrade this? Oh, okay. Jeez. Okay, that's gonna take a while, thankfully. I think we might need to upgrade the habitats as well. Have anyone left on Beluga? We do. Humans. Okay, well they're out of these things. everything that we could possibly invent.
of energy at least. But dang, that really tanks our life support. I have to at least upgrade two of these, I think. Invention complete. Yeah, what does that get us? This thing. Power plants. As a result, we can build larger and more efficient factories, but increase the energy output of power plants. Sure. But whatever. How close are the ambience to being done? of robots here. I don't understand. killed more of my robots. They just uh, evaporated, I guess. I don't even know how that could have happened. Yeah. 
Okay, can I turn off my labs then? That will really help. Anymore. The Aegis, that's fine. What 
Fatty Yoke. Seems fine. 
a bit bummed. Okay, is also fine. I need that much life support, do I? I 
like we lost a lot of people. So I might want to follow her. Let's see. Okay, G30. You find a partially burned piece of paper bearing a message. Please, I don't want to be indentured to the children of light. I know Hermes E4 is where they... The rest of the note is unreadable. Hermes E4. Bonfires and propaganda pamphlets litter the area here. There must have been some type of public meeting held at this spot. The pamphlets are, the pamphlets are terse and simply state, The time is nigh. Follow me out of the darkness and into the glory. Jellyfish of evil. salvaged. A small crate bearing some tools lies under part of the wreckage. On the top, a shipping label reads, sent to I-20 on Ares for construction teams.
Okay, Aries. That was what, I-20? All who follow the path converge on Hera at I-21. We're nearing our culmination time. Hera, I-21. Someone obviously left you this sign. It appears to be the leader of these fanatics taunting you. Blind, mindless fools, you follow the flagship of a, a supreme idiocy into the aliens. Dead. Come to us on Hermes B-8 to combat these horrors. Choice. Let's grab whatever else we can. Oh, chemistry, that's nice. And <laughs> we don't need physics. It's probably the one thing that we truly don't need. Let's look at these again. Hermes, bait, Hera I-21. Back and forth, back and forth. I need to take a note. Sure, we'll go back to Ares. Gather near, O children of light. Meet at Ares, Sector F12. For together we will crush the vile abominations that rule the night. The sky of night. Cover a digital voice recorder. The last message uh, the pilot barked into the black box was, Will do! I'm off to Aries D22. Can't wait to see how good old something or another. That's for Aries D22. You almost flew right by this small sign. Its message seems quite deliberate. Ha! Ah, dare to challenge my teachings? All those who would challenge me may face my fury and feel my wrath on Hermes at J18. On the surface below, you uncover a Max 9000 PDA, one of the only entries lists a brief order. Come to me on Hades at D10. I shall be awaiting our time to grow together. Uh, well, since she is the governor of Hades, uh, let's go there. How are 
doing on tech. A ways off. Why did we call Hades the furnace? I don't even remember. Uh, where are we supposed to go? <laughs> Inside a destroyed makeshift colony, you find a smashed computer console. The light storage media is still intact. After replaying the slightly damaged recorder, you can just make out a voice. All followers of the true path gather ye unto Hermes at J18. There's a stripped down bunker here, as though someone purposefully destroyed the structure. You're able to piece together a few fragments of a magnetic poster. Hades shall be on the way to the true path. Follow ye unto the one's wisdom, and knowledge everlasting is yours at age 12. And so that's a second thing pointing us to Hermes J18. netting, you discover a surface-to-air rocket launcher. The launcher's targeting and acquisition hardware has not yet been installed. A large, unmanned gun turret is in the process of being affixed to the surface here. Its weaponry and tracking systems are not yet operational. A large electronic display adorns this fortified bunker. We have a hundred members and counting. Screwed up. I thought there was like a different bunker actually on Hermes. Attention all crew members. Yeah, you just shut up, man. Uh, where was our last save? It was ages ago, wasn't it? We didn't even invent this yet. Let's try. 
try and deal with this now. Upgrade, upgrade. Can't believe that. I'm such a dummy, I should have saved. Is fine. Ace's Alley just never had many robots. What the heck? Um. Yeah, no. Sign up these colonies.
but I'd like to be able to upgrade those again. <sighs> Why can't I upgrade these factories? What's up? I got killed and lost a huge amount of progress a little bit ago. So I'm desperately trying to make up for it again. My military officer shot me. And I hadn't saved because I'm a big dummy. invented that I have to reinvent now. Ugh. I don't know why it says hello every 30 minutes and I, I, I have no idea why. It's clearly a bot. It's like 30 minutes on the dot.
stone. <laughs> I don't need you trolling me. Oh, 
a hundred more robots.
have so much energy here. factories again. robots from Ace's Alley and I don't know what. everything that we can possibly invent. Just need our jelly friends to pick up the pace on their end.
successor, but but we might. Robots 
we have way enough ore. Just need energy. What's up, Tefo? Thank you! <laughs> Thanks. What were, uh... I didn't realize that you were even streaming today. Do you normally stream on Tuesdays? I'm building space stations for jellyfish. Yeah, no problem. 
I still have to have dinner as well, so... But thank you for showing up. And just, just for a little bit. I have urgent news requiring your immediate attention. One of our most distinguished colonists, Governor Snyder, seems to have gone off the deep end. He has been building up quite a following of rebellious fanatics by announcing our... He shot me earlier. That's why I died. ...to join her rebellion and establish their own sovereignty. She has somehow come here near a dozen vehicles. The vehicles are being used to plunder our company sites and disrupt the new converse to some unknown location. Their activity is being updated in the space map, but we're not quite sure what they're up against. Governor Snyder was last seen in the vicinity of Sector G30 on Gaia. I'm afraid we should divert our attention to dealing with this matter immediately. Proceed with caution. Extremely dangerous. G30. I think she's the one who's been stealing all the robots from Ace's Alley. Let's go say hello. You find a partially burned piece of paper bearing a message. Please, I don't want to be indentured to the children of light. I know Hermes, E4 is where they... Dot, dot, dot. The rest of the note is unreadable. Bonfires and propaganda pamphlets litter the area here. There must have been some type of public meeting held at this spot. The pamphlets are terse and simply state, the time is nigh. Follow me out of the darkness and into the glory. And what else is here? And we found a small insectivore that's developed the ability to stun large insects with an electric shock. Ah, Captain, word has reached me that you're hot on my trail. Oh, wow, I love a good ship. I told you. Yeah, no problem, Stragle. Bloated jellyfish of evil. I don't know why she's worried about the UN Council. If there is no more UN Council, the Earth has been destroyed. At least as far as we are aware. Why anything is named what it's named. Because I don't know. of a habitat are evident here. It appears that this was purposefully no, purposely destroyed and salvaged. A small crate bearing some tools lies under part of the wreckage. On the top, a shipping label reads, Send to I-20 on Ares for construction deals. So okay, I-20 on Ares. That's all that 
lights in this sector. Sally has no ore. What the heck? Um, so it's the Aries is Vivimba. Follow the path, converge on Hera at I-21. We're nearing our culmination time. Somebody obviously left you this sign. It appears to be the leader of these fanatics taunting you. Blind, mindless fools! You follow the flagship of a supreme idiocy into the alien's den. Come to us on Hermes B-8 to combat these horrors. Follow this one rather than one that's taunting me. Hera at 21. Our color on Hera, though, is dead. There are 500 humans that are unemployed here. I've already forgotten what the sector is. I 21. Within a demolished vehicle, you recover a digital voice recorder. The last message the pilot barked into the black box was, Will do! I'm off to Aries D-22. Can't wait to see how good old dot dot dot. You almost flew right by this small sign. Its message seems quite deliberate. Ha! Dare to challenge my teachings? All those who would challenge me may face my fury and feel my wrath on Hermes at J-18. Surface below, you uncover a Max 9000 PDA. One of the only entries lists a brief order. Come to me on Hades at D10. I shall be awaiting our time to grow together. Um. Hermes. Maybe I'll go to Hermes. My friends, when you return here, we will have left for Hera, F-18. Join us as quickly as you can, Hera, F-18. Subject, you're getting colder. Actually on the right trail? I don't know. Let's check out the Hades. Uh, something 10? Right. D10. Oh, two 
buildings right away. Inside a destroyed makeshift colony, you find a smashed computer console. The light storage media is still intact. Is that just how they say optical media? After replaying the slightly damaged recorder, you can just make out a voice. All followers of the true path gather ye unto Hermes at Sector J18. Which you already went to. There's a stripped down bunker here, as though someone purposefully destroyed the structure. You're able to piece together a few fragments of a magnetic poster. Hades shall be on the way to the true path. Follow ye unto the one's wisdom and knowledge everlasting is yours at age twelve. There is a sea of methane ice several kilometers deep. And there's nothing else interesting here. My beloved followers have constructed a colony on Hermes, which I have named Persephone. If we come on you home, we will be free of your idiotic leadership. I'm sure it will be more comfortable in this bunker. <laughs> Nasty ambience. Captain, the bunker which the panic has established is probably well on. However, any converts that are still resident there would undoubtedly be killed in an all out airstrike on such an installation. I am afraid their safety must be our primary concern. We can't be slaughtering innocents and justifying it due to one radical. We must be sure the bunker is empty before we can destroy it. I urge you to fulfill this requested ultimatum. If, if it's just converts in the bunker, then they're all radicals. It's not just one radical. H12, H12, since we're already here. Netting, you discover a surface-to-air rocket launcher. The launcher's targeting and acquisitioning hardware has not yet been installed. A large, unmanned gun turret is in the process of being affixed to the surface here. Its weaponry and tracking systems are not yet operational. A large electronic display adorns this fortified bunker. It reads 100 members and counting. Just a hundred people. Look, I'm gonna destroy all the guns. Oh. I guess we'll leave the bunker. Which colony do they want me to build at? Hermes to support 1,000 people. And I feel like I already can support 1,000 people here. are building. Okay, we don't actually have to, I guess, go to any of these, those other clues. Nice. I'm curious, though. Wasn't one of them Hera F-18? A small 
posted bulletin appears to have been purposely planted in the planet's soil here. The short message reads, Revive your spirit and take hold of your future. Come to Ares Sector I-20 for more enlightenment. Okay, we've already been there. Waste of time. I almost have the 3,000 energy I need. How close am I to actually inventing anything? Pretty darn far. Slow the speed again. 27, 26. Okay, these will take a while to build, but that should appease the, uh, I don't know, anti MPM terrorists for now. I don't know, it's kind of just a waiting game at this point. I need enough, well, I guess, math and electronics to invent this thing. And then at some point I need to do this. I think that this I should work on first, though. I don't need any physics research. Let's change all of our physics labs over to something else. Okay, no physics there. Where am I doing physics? Okay, what do we need instead of physics? Math and or electronics. Electronics. Physics, give me math. That didn't that. Miners. Miner A2. The Aegis. The Aegis has physics. Let's go to electronics. me to build at the existing Hermes colony, but it's this one. Oh, okay. That doesn't feel great. Resident 125. Okay, filter to trap quarks. That does not sound like my priority, though. The monofilament structure theory will let us build the filaments we need to test our theories about trapping individual quarks. If we are right, the filaments will allow us to improve our ability to generate power. That absolutely does not sound like what I need. What I really need. Let's send a whole bunch of stuff to Persephone. Transport. To Persephone. Okay, we can 
probably find all of the um, energy and ore that we need there, but we'll go ahead and send this anyways. We'll take humans from from these two places. Oh my goodness, 
stop saying hello. That's not energy though, I needed energy. There's still energy somewhere in here.
once the ship arrives. How are we doing here? We need a bit more electronics is what we're really going to be waiting on. among society is intolerable to us. It must be a lovely society to be part of. Sir, you heard the Indians. Governor Snyder's threat is now jeopardizing our alliance with the most advanced civilization known to us. I'm working on... Okay, surely in like a turn these will take over and I'll be able to upgrade them. Easily be able to. Um, oh no, it won't. Upgrade from 200 to 300, not 400. I need another habitat. There. In 24 turns. Let's go and send 300 people there. How about that? some more life support quickly. Is 
was not all I needed to do. Do I have to empty out the people that I've already filled the habitats with? There, do there have to be 1,000 empty slots? I don't know. I've never gotten to this point. All the government night and rainy vehicles are currently on course for heat. You can use our activity in the space center if you wish. It appears that if they intend to run in there, it is my guess that they are going to attempt a massive exodus of all people and resources to the new colony we have constructed for them. I hope so too. We need more power. Oh, is that all these yellow things? Wow, there's a lot of ships. My vessel has betrayed me! Ha! We have 
This sounds horrible. It sounds like I'm starting like... Uh, this doesn't sound very awesome. A deprogramming camp. Oh, I 
also have this other thing to build. That's okay, this is priority. Renegades are still coming. Sure. But not many of them. Battling any aliens. Everything. I have no basis to judge the meaning of the 
so I think it's a little bit bugged. I think that these first lines that people are giving me are old and they shouldn't be coming up, and just the second parts should. Because, like, give me more spacecraft and missiles, we're gonna fight. He did tell me that earlier. I don't think that's supposed to still be there. Where do I have my actual military advisor? Did I send her to Colony? E? No. It's not here because Beast told me to. Send her back home. all of it. I 
should last a while. What does that mean to? Means or bad. Geology anymore. What? Here. What is going on? 
Let's turn off the rope. I turned off the robot factory and immediately we just lost a whole bunch more robots. I think. I don't know, because this went offline. We got the robots from it momentarily. And this habitat came back online to use them. Okay. Wow, 
That takes a really long time to build. Jeez. Focal tower used exclusively at our special station platform. The one the Empians have to help to build. We need four of these installations built and online at that station before we can enter the next phase of this exciting new technological era. Maybe that'll keep it afloat. Cool. Hey, what's up, Mallard? Thank 
The Spectre engine, sir. We can now adapt a ship to use a combined human and ambient crew to travel faster than the speed of light. When we are ready, we need to send the Calypso to the special space platform that the ambients helped us construct. Once there, we shall refit the Calypso with the new engine design. Okay, well how the heck do I do that? Can I do it yet? FTF. Super stirred. Do it.
done? We never finished decoding uh, Captain Johansson's last message. Yeah, but do we have to build on those huge frickin' structures everywhere that we want to... If we want to go back? Like a warp gate? Thank you. Well, we did it. An operational victory, but not a grand operational victory, not a strategic... What are the wing condition threes? What's a tactical victory and a strategic victory? I didn't know there were different victories. Oh, I don't want to have to play through this whole game again. Jeez. Let's take a screenshot of this, though. Cool. We did it. Thank you, excellent.